back to the channel and this lab is just recently updated and because of that this lab is having a minor issue once you start the lab just simply click on the task number two and just scroll down and just simply check for the zone if your zone is us central one then just simply restart the lab you don't have to continue this lab in us central one okay now just simply log in with your credentials and once you're done with that just simply come back over here click on the checkbox and then click on agree and continue now just simply wait and just simply activate your cloud shell it will take a couple of seconds so just simply wait for that Now click on continue. Now what you do in the description box of this video, I will share one GitHub link. Just simply click on that link, and then you are able to access this document. Now just simply copy this first command. Come back over here. Just simply wait. Click on this. Got it. Now let me just increase the text size for you. Now just simply paste the command like this way. Now come back to your lab instructions, and from here just simply export your zone. So just simply copy your zone like this way. Do not copy any extra space. Just simply copy like this. Come back over here, paste and hit enter. So we are done with the first command. Now again come back to the GitHub repo. Just simply scroll down, copy this command. Come back over here, paste, hit enter. Wait for a second and then click on authorize. Now just simply wait for the this task get complete. And it's done. Now, once you're done with that, now just simply search for the VM instance, open this thing new tab, come back over here, wait for a second now. Now, here you can see one VM called VM Baston host, and second VM is VM secure host. Now, what we have to do, first of all, we have to just simply log into this VM using RDP, and once we are logging in the RDP, then we have to just simply log in with this secure host. Okay, do not worry about that. I'm going to explain the whole process. So, basically, first of all, what we have to do, click on this RDP. And then click on this link now one file will download to your local system like this way now click on this cancel now click on this down arrow and from here just simply choose the set windows password just simply click over here wait for a second and if you face error over here if i just simply click on this set and if you face error over here no need to worry again just simply perform the same step So we got a password. Now what you do, just keep this page as it is. Now click on this and just simply click on this show in finder. Now if you are using a Mac, so you can just simply use the software called Microsoft Remote Desktop. And if you are using a Windows machine, so you can just simply search for the remote desktop. Okay, now just simply open this thing like this way. And if you get this kind of error, no need to worry about that because we just recently created the VM and because of that we are getting this error and we will get this error simultaneously. So no need to worry about this thing. Just simply click on this close and again just simply open this thing. Again click on this close, again just simply open.
and as you can see after clicking on couple of times we are not able to paste the password so now just we come back over here copy this password come back over here paste and if we just click over here you can see this is my same password now just me click on this connect now just simply wait and then click on this continue And now here you can see we are successfully able to log in with this VM Bastron host VM. Now this thing might be little bit laggy because we are in the VM machine. Now just simply wait. Click on this yes. And it's done now click on this and now just me search for the rdp now just need to open this as an administrator right click over here and then click over here click on this yes Now here for the computer IP just simply come back over here and this secure IP from here just simply copy this internal IP and make sure that you have to copy this 10.0.0.2 just simply copy this IP like this way come back over here paste like over here and then click on this connect now just simply wait And here you can see is asking for the credential. Now again, just simply come back to the GitHub repo. Just me scroll down, and from here, just me copy this last comma. Just me copy like this. Come back over here to the dashboard, and just simply click on this cross like this, and just simply paste the command over here, and hit enter. Now just simply wait. Now here you can see this username and password. Now I request you please copy all the things carefully. Do not copy any extra space otherwise you are not able to log in. So first of all just simply copy this username like this way. Come back over here and paste like this. Just simply wait and it's done. Now copy the password carefully like this. Do not copy any extra space. Just simply come back over here. Paste and it's done. Now just simply click on this OK. Now just simply wait. And here you can see it's blinking over here just simply click over here and then click on this yes and now you can see we are now connected to vm secure host from here you can just simply cross it away just simply check this ip and this ip now just simply wait over here Now click on this yes again like this and it's done now just simply wait until you get a red banner over here on local server because if we just simply try to click over here we will get one error over here just simply wait let me just show you okay so i was not able to get an error but if you get error over there no need to worry just simply wait for a couple of seconds and again that click on this button okay now just simply click on this next button then click on this next button and then click on this now in the server role just make sure that you have to click on this checkbox called web server just simply click on this checkbox like this way and then click on this add switch and then click on this next this next and this is the last next i hope no. this is the last one and it's done 
Now click on this install button. Now I just simply wait for this task to get complete and once it's done we are done with this lab. Meanwhile what we will do, we will just simply come back to the lab instructions and just simply check the score for the remaining task. And as you can see we got a score for each and every task. Now just simply come back over here and just simply wait for to this installation to get complete. And it's finally done. Now if you just simply come back to the lab instructions and just scroll down and click on this check my progress, you will get a score without any issue. And if the score is not updated, no need to worry because lab take time to update a score over there. So just keep hitting on check my progress. It will take at least one minute to update a score over there. Just simply click. And it's done and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys